Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Holly. This is Holly and Life, and today I'm bringing you a weekly grocery haul. I am adopting a new budget for my groceries at the moment. I am a single mom of four children who are aged nine, seven, six, and two. So as you can imagine, we get through a lot of food. I have reduced my shopping recently to accommodate a budget of 100 pounds a week for a standard grocery shop. I currently shop at Tesco, and then a 200 pounds a month Costco haul. Now, this shop is slightly different because it's half term and whenever it's half term or holidays, I accommodate a little bit more to the budget because everyone's home all the time and I'm responsible for doing all of their meals. Whereas normally they would be at school or childcare and they would get some kind of lunch snack fiasco happening there. So I don't know what it is, but for some reason during half terms and holidays, my kids are super hungry and then I want to eat everything in the house as well. So I try to give myself a little bit more of a budget for that. I have done a bumper shop this week to deal with the fact that last week I actually didn't put in a shop. At the end of the video I'm going to let you know how much I spent and I'm going to continuously film these videos so that you can see over the course of time how much I spend in my family on groceries. So without any further ado, let me show you what I got this week. I feel like the non-perishable section is really where you see how much of an oxymoron I am because in one sense I have really lovely products like this which are of the more expensive line and then I also have the very basic bath foam but if you've watched my videos for a while or, or been here before I did the rebrand you'll know that as a standard I start at the basic range and work my way up based on what's nice and what I feel like I can afford so this entire shop will have a mixture of different things in it you'll see some basic range you'll see some branded you'll see some mid-range stuff I'm not judgy about stuff at all I just kind of get on with it so let me show you what I got here. Picked up some new washing powder. I'm currently loving the personal stuff, so I'm getting that, but I'm going to be going back to Costco soon and sorting out a Costco shop, and I will go back to the Costco wash powder because that is the cheapest stuff you could ever imagine, and it's excellent for cleaning clothes, especially muddy rugby kids' clothes, so it's very good. The Tesco dishwasher tablets. Again, we'll be getting the Costco ones in my next big Costco haul for the month, but for now, I need some of these, so I'm grabbing them. I currently get this softener, the Lenore Outdoorable. I don't know if this will change when I go to Costco, but I love the scent of this. I get some basic bleach. This is just the easy bleach. It's like 50p or something each. And I get a couple of those. I want. I like to always make sure I've got one in each of the bathrooms. So um, I need two of those currently. I am loving duck discs at the moment. So I'm getting the refills for these. Next, I got bath foam. I don't splash out on bath foam stuff at all. It's mostly I'm using it for the kids or for myself just to soak, but it's really more the water that I like. So I just get the cheap family bath foam. I needed some new toothbrushes. Again, I just get the cheap ones because my kids trash them within about a week and I'm constantly buying them. So I just get these. And then the nappy scenario for Will. I do get the Rascal and Friends nappies. I just really like them and I get their baby wipes as well because again, I really, really like them. Moving on to foodstuffs then, I haven't really put this in any kind of major order, so stuff's a little bit everywhere, so I will just walk my way through. I've got some green tea and lemon, some jam, this is, only the kids eat this, so I just buy the basic jam. <laughs> it's like 20 something feet and the kids love it, so I get this stuff. Coffee, nice and stuff, because I like coffee. There you go. Um, peanut butter, crunchy, something I know. It has the smooth stuff and we got into a bit of an argument about it and to be honest um i thought it was weird if you had smooth peanut butter she thinks it's weird if you have crunchy so let me know i grabbed three milks for this week that should see us through and some self-raising flour i've got bananas i picked up two packets of six so i've got 12 bananas a bunch of carrots cucumber lemons broccoli raspberries strawberries blueberries grapes an avocado satsumas and a stir fry mix because we're going to do a stir fry this week that's kind of the standard fresh stuff that i get every week i've got some of these potato poppy things because i like to do loaded potato pops 
incredible stick like cheese chives bacon pieces and stuff like that all over it and they are incredible fish portions these hearty food company fish portions they are like the cheapest portions you can get in tesco and i get two boxes of those so we can do a fish and chips dinner some mocky was like the treat item for this week i try to get something every week that's a bit different this is what i've got this week because they were on offer and some ice cream so that i can do desserts with the kids they're really into desserts, so I should turn this the right way. That's gonna freak people out. Ta-da! I like to always have a big stockpile of porridge oats because we do eat porridge or I make some flapjack. And then snacky-wise, I picked up some extra bits because this week it's half term. So I picked up some pepperami, some dunkers, some baby bells, and we're gonna be doing lots of picnics and stuff like that. So I like to have stuff like that that I can take out with me. Restocking on the mayonnaise then. I like to get the Heinz mayonnaise ketchup and barbecue. So I've run out of the mayo and I'm getting one of those and then I get three apple juices because the kids love a glass of apple juice in the morning with their breakfast. For the fridge I have some cheese, some ham, some bacon, some sausages. I also picked up some Philadelphia and some Greek yogurt so that I can do snacks and breakfast. Kids always like to have little yogurts from our phrase is normally what I go for and then Joel actually requested olives this week so I've picked up some olives for him too couple of cans of sweet corn and a little tub of apple and blackcurrant squash which is the only flavor squash my kids are eating at the moment no drinking at the moment so I've just been getting one of these every week we're doing a stir fry this week so I grabbed some beef stir fry strips and then I also picked up one of these smoked sausages because I often do some kind of smoked sausage vegetable pasta most weeks <laughs> like it's a pretty staple meal in on my house my kids absolutely love it I bought more wraps than I needed so I can stick some of these in the freezer but ham wraps are what my kids are loving at lunch at the moment and then I got a massive tub of sugar this is the new size that they're doing in Tesco it's five kilograms I don't really need five kilograms for a week but it's always cheaper buying in bulk so that's what I did a few more fridge things I got some of these little Yeo Valley Greek style yogurts I only get these when they're on offer they do four of these little yogurts for £1.50 and they're really nice mostly take them to work with me as my breakfast at work with some fruit and some granola some cheese strings again with the snacky bit see I can organize as I go and then I got some smoked salmon this week because I wanted to do soft cheese smoked salmon avocado bagels breakfast of champions lots of dry items five loaves of bread i freeze the bread and keep one out at a time but mostly we're going through almost a whole loaf every day so i try to buy quite a lot of that i picked up these noodles this time to try with the stir fry rather than getting egg noodles because these are super cheap i grabbed five bags of pasta i don't need all of these for this week but it just made sense to bulk on these right now and get the stockpile going again these are just the cheap party food company it's like 44p or something like that for 500 grams and i tend to find i go through a couple of these a week whole bunch of crisps annie requested cravers so we got some cravers prawn cocktail for the stir fry and then just some standard ready salted the cheap ones for lunches and things like that i told you this wasn't in any order because my apples are over here rather than being with the fresh fruit but i grabbed six of the apples with apples i just buy whichever is on offer whichever's cheapest so this week it was these ones these were 89p for the six apples i tend to just buy six because i chop the apples and do it like that my kids for some reason won't eat a whole apple so I just chop them and give them like half at a time with lunch or something like that some more tomato puree just the growers harvest this is the cheap range in Tesco and some butter I normally get this from Costco which most of you will know but um, I'm not making it to Costco until the end of the week so I've picked some of this up so I can do some baking with the kids and then we'll go back to buying it from Costco because this is 169 a tub I think actually it's a little bit more than that but it's a lot of money whereas in Costco you get four for four pound twenty so it's like a pound a block it's much cheaper Lots of snacky bits this week. Roasted and salted cashews, roasted and salted peanuts. The yo-yos are on offer. These are two pound a box, so I like to buy a couple of the boxes. I've got the apple one and the mango one this week. Kids love these for picnics. Ritz crackers and then the cheese Ritz crackers because also these were on offer. So I thought I would give those a go. Never tried those before. I've heard they're delicious. The last few bits are just staples. Stuffing so they can do a roast dinner. Beans, tomatoes. I try and buy one of these four selections every week this actually isn't the cheapest range this is the one up and i purely buy it for the ring pull <laughs> i taste no difference in the cheap range to this range and i think i save money going to the cheap range by about 
18p a can so actually that does add up but um the ring pull i value so <laughs> i get these ones instead i grab some eggs just the bug box of 12 that you get from tesco the thin bagels that i'm going to freeze and then use for uh, smoked salmon etc delicious and then garlic bread i always have a couple of these in the freezer i use these to bulk out meals like pasta bake lasagnas that kind of thing i just have these on the side and then the kids have an extra carb which always helps that was a bit of a whistle stop tour through what i have bought this week but i did say i was going to let you know how much i spent i spent a grand total of 174 pound 13 and that is technically over budget 74 pound 13 over budget i tried to make sure that my weekly shop is just 100 pounds however i didn't do a shop last week and it's half term so i do make an allowance for that i, I allow myself 150 pounds when it's a half term week so really i'm 24 pound 13 over budget um if not over budget at all because i didn't spend anything last week i've actually made money <laughs> I am going to film this every week. I'm going to show you every food shop I do and every Costco haul that I do so that you guys can get an idea of how I am feeding my kids and what I'm spending. I try to keep my total cost to about £600 a month. So that works out at about £150 a week for my family of four kids and me. I am also going to be doing some videos of what we eat so that you get an idea of how I utilise this to make meals and um, what's fascinating is this meal whilst it was you know over budget technically um a lot of this will last over the next couple of weeks too so i'm not a week on week shop i'm always trying to think about what's going on ahead so i will also be filming a how i meal plan prep what that looks like so that you can see how i search through my cupboards how i then plan based on what's left in my fridge and freezer and that whole thing because actually i'm pretty savvy with money and i reckon i would be able to do a weekly food shop for a lot lot less and maybe i will actually see how low i can get it because i'm a single mom i'm doing this on my own and i have some big dreams and things i'd like to do saving money is going to be required if i want to achieve those so yeah follow me on that journey that'll be very exciting and we can uh, have a little challenge to see how much money i can save just on my food shop i'm gonna pop all of this away and i shall see you in the next video bye